throughout the campaign and multiplayer of Halo 2, large ships can be seen. Human, Covenant, and Forerunner in origin. Today's episode of the Domain Records, we will take a brief look at and show you where you can see some of these ships in your playthrough or multiplayer match of Halo 2. The UNSC has numerous ships that appear in the game, with a few of them being first for the series. One of the most prominent classes in the game is the Stalwar class light frigate, the first frigate class to be seen in a Halo game. We see one named ship of this class, the In Amber Clad, captained by Miranda Keys. It starts out helping defend Earth before it journeys to Delta Halo. It is eventually taken by the Flood to infect High Charity. You can get a great up-close look at it in the level Cairo Station while it's docked. It isn't the only frigate of the Stalwart class to appear. 67 of them are a part of Admiral Harper's 5th Fleet and can be seen flying in the background of the space section in classic graphics. Introduced in this game as well is the Marathon class heavy cruiser. 8 of them are a part of Harper's 5th Fleet and several can be seen flying around Earth. Beyond these Earth space parts, they aren't seen again. Two named Marathons are seen in the game. In both versions, the ship the Chief flies past when giving the Covenant back their bomb is the UNSC Feeling Lucky, which is promptly destroyed. In an anniversary, we get the appearance of the Canberra, seen in text in this cutscene, seemingly under direct command of Harper himself. Anniversary also gives us the appearance of two more familiar UNSC ships, the Halcyon class light cruiser, which we see as the Pillar of Autumn in the Heretic and as a sprite in the Earth space sections, and the Paris class heavy frigate from Halo Reach, which can also be seen in this section as proper 3D models. Multiplayer also gives us one last ship, and that is the Onan, a freighter stationed above Earth and the setting of elongation. For the Covenant, we see a few of their ships as well, with one big first. To start, there is the CCS class battle cruiser, the same ship class as the Truth and Reconciliation from Halo Combat Evolved. It appears in several cutscenes with great views of it in the Heretic. It also appears a few times as skybox objects in various levels. A single one is resting in the sky in the level Great Journey, while a massive fleet of them is seen very briefly near the end of the level Regret. The CAS class assault carrier is first introduced in this game, and we see it several times. The one the Chief delivers the Covenant's bomb to is the Day of Jubilation, which is promptly destroyed. The one that heads to Mombasa is the Solemn Penance, something you can see in-game in Cairo Station. The Solemn Penance eventually travels to Delta Halo and can be seen in the clouds of the Skybox of Regret. It is also likely the one that attempts to class the Chief in the cutscene at the end of Regret. In Anniversary, we see both CCS and CAS class ships chase the Autumn Overreach in the Heretic and eventually fight one another at the beginning of the Great Schism at the end of the level High Charity. No new ships appear in Anniversary, though. We get one last named Covenant ship through multiplayer. The Pious Inquisitor resting above Earth is the setting of midship. One last faction has a ship, the Forerunners. The Anodyne Spirit, the centerpiece of the Golden City in High Charity, and the ship that takes truth to Earth at the end of the game. While referred to as a Dreadnought, it is actually a key ship and is one of the strongest vessels in the galaxy at the time of the game. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more of this kind of content.